All right, so we're going to talk about the pedal request tables right now. First, we are going to save our bin as D0002. And I'll just put a little note here. Pedal tables. All right, so I have a DSG, so I'm going to open the torque request folder and the auto trans uh, subfolder. We've got these four driver pedal torque request tables. They are dependent upon how fast you are currently going and whether you're in regular or sport mode. Each of these on the Y axis is your throttle pedal input, your, you know, your pedal position input, and your RPM is along the X axis. All of the values in the table are a percentage of your maximum torque at clutch tables, and there are many of those. These are pretty well representative of what the factory GTI calibration is capable of as far as torque output goes. Um, the factory tuning essentially is torque target based. So pressing the pedal 50% does not mean it gives you 50% throttle position. It gives you whatever percentage at 50% here at whatever RPM you happen to be going right now. So at 3280 RPM and 50% pedal position, it gives you 82% torque uh, request. And so if we follow that table over here at about 3280, so about 3250 is close enough. And um, doesn't matter what gear you're in because all of these are the same. This is you know first gear through seventh gear. And honestly, I have no idea what the eight table does. But it commands 80% of this 363 Newton meters right here, um, regardless of what gear you're in. So that's how that works. When we're tuning the car, we are going to be changing it from torque target based to boost target based. So in doing that, we're going to start, um, we're mainly going to be concerned with wide open throttle tuning for this initial base file. So we're going to just give it a flat torque request. Now, because we are tuning on switch patch, we need to switch to the switch patch XDF. So we're going to select the this one here that we downloaded. And rather than going to those uh, torque request uh, max torque at clutch tables, we are instead going to open the map switching folder. And under all of the maps, for the sake of simplicity, we are going to edit all of these torque request auto trans tables. At least in my case, if you have manual trans, obviously that's what you're going to do. So I'm just going to select all and 550, enter, and I'm going to, let's do control A, control C, and save it. I'm going to do that to all three of these under each of the maps. And the reason why we are editing it here instead of the original tables is because the switch patch essentially hijacks some of these um, torque request tables. So if we look at here, you can see that this was actually changed because the tables are one in the same. So easy way to do it is to make sure you do this under all of the switch patch maps. So I'll go ahead and speed up the video real quick so you don't have to watch me do this at slow speed. All right, now in case you're wondering why I chose 550 Newton meters, I have an IS38 on my car and I know that it's probably going to be making somewhere on the order of about 500 Newton meters or so, give or take a bit. We just want to set this flat torque request to something slightly more than what the car is going to be making, at least in theory, in the you know torque model. Now, back to the torque request tables these driver pedal requests. So now, you know, when we command 85%, it's going to be 85% of 550 or, you know, 14% of 550, whatever, everywhere. Now you can fiddle around with this table now if you really want to, but the thing is I've found that until you have the base tune sorted and like the overall power, uh, I guess power curve is established, there's really no sense in really doing much here. If you really want, you can do something like you can use the compare tool 
and compare these tables to a stock Golf R bin. And we can like look at that and we can see they're actually a little bit more refined, but I'm not gonna bother with changing them right now. You could do that if you really like. Make sure if you do copy tables from another box code that you are paying attention to the axis as well. Now, one thing that when I was kind of doing a dry run for this video, I forgot to show was, let me delete this and delete this. This parameter, I'm sorry, this um, XDF as downloaded was actually missing the auto trans speed switch tables. So you can actually control at what speeds it switches from low speed to high speed for these maps, for these pedal maps. So if you want to find that, what you can do, I opened up the manual trans folder and I found that it actually has them here, but these only apply to the manual transmission. So if you open up one of these and we're going to go to XDF, um, view and edit XDF info, parameter info, and we can see the description name of this table. So if we copy um, part of this, we're going to do control C and we're going to, oh, can't do that. All right, so we have that description name copied. We're going to go to Tools, uh, Custom Tools, New Tuner Pro Instance. And we are going to open, we have the same file open, but that's fine. We're going to select a different XDF. We're going to select the All XDF. This is a huge file and it takes a minute to load. But essentially, we're going to search for that partial description name in hopes that we can find the corresponding map for the DSG. So there's a lot of stuff to sift through. So what we're going to do is we're going to do control F and control V. So we have that copied or pasted in and we're going to search in the description. And when we hit search, it pulls up some tables. We can see it pulls up CVT, DCT, MT, um, the VS threshold for switching to low scaling factor. That's the one we want. All right. And if we look up here, VS threshold for switching to high scaling factor, that's the other one. So this 30 and 80 kilometer per hour um, value actually corresponds to the same as what the manual trans tables are. So I'm pretty sure this is what we're after. Um, if we look at the XDF parameter info, Yep, same thing except with DCT on the end. All right, so cool, we can close out of that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these from this XDF in this instance of Tuner Pro. So we'll copy the VS for switching to low scaling factor DCT. So right click and copy parameter to clipboard. And we're gonna open up the other instance of Tuner Pro. Oh, not that one. Heck, there we go. All right, and I'm gonna click on this auto trans folder because that's where I wanna put it. And we're going to paste that XDF uh, parameter. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the high scaling factor, uh, high scaling factor. Right click, copy to clipboard, minimize that one. And we can paste that here. All right, so now we have those two tables in our definition file that we will be using more often. And I'm gonna just click and drag it down to where I want it to be. So we have the low scaling factor and the high scaling factor for the dual clutch trans now in this XDF. So if you wanted to edit those numbers, you can. I'm not going to worry about it at this time. I usually don't fiddle with pedal stuff until after the bass tune is done. Now we have the torque request being commanded and we have, you know, 550 Newton meters at wide open throttle being commanded. The problem is we have to make sure that the airflow model is correct. So that is going to be the next thing. We'll be playing around with the torque to airflow and the airflow to torque tables next time.